Jalen Ramsey was back on the practice field on Friday, right when the news about his contract extension hit. The timing wasn't a coincidence. There's something almost deliberate about it, like Ramsey wanted to make sure everyone saw him out there, even as questions hang in the air. Can he play in the opener against the Jacksonville Jaguars? The injury reports aren't encouraging. Ramsey's been dealing with a nagging hamstring, keeping him out of practice for a couple of weeks now. But here he is, back on the field, refusing to disappear. Man, I always want to play football, he said. It sounds so simple when he says it, but there's more behind it. Ramsey's not the type to sit back and take it easy. He's the one who fights against the odds, against timelines that try to tell him when he'll be ready. He doesn't like being told to wait. He's always trying to push those limits, trying to beat the clock. But there's a balance here, a tension between what he wants and what his body can handle. He knows it. The coaching staff knows it. So here's the dilemma. Can he trust himself to step back when needed, to not push too hard too soon? He's working through that struggle now. We'll see when game day gets here, he says. Not exactly a resounding vote of confidence. Officially, Ramsey is listed as questionable. The hamstring is a tricky thing to manage. And there's more at play. The Dolphins face the Buffalo Bills in week two. Two games in five days. It's a brutal stretch, and Ramsey knows it. He's aware of the stakes. That's a big key to this whole equation, he admits. It's not just about the opener. It's about the bigger picture, the long term, the division games that really matter. Buffalo is looming, and that could play into the decision to sit him out against Jacksonville. You don't want to rush him back and risk losing him for something bigger. But the temptation to have him out there is real. Ramsey knows that too. If he does sit, the pressure falls on the young cornerbacks. Ethan Bonner. Storm Duck. Not exactly household names, but Ramsey's got faith in them. Or at least, he says he does. They might have to step up against Jacksonville, which drafted Ramsey back in 2016. There's history there, but Ramsey brushes it off. It doesn't hold any special meaning, he says. Maybe it's true. He's already faced them before, back in 2021 with the Rams. A 37-7 blowout. So, no, maybe it's not personal. But there's always something lingering when a player goes up against the team that started it all. Then there's the contract. The big news. Ramsey's now the highest paid cornerback in the league, again. $24 million a year. It's a number that sits heavy, especially coming just after Patrick Sertentus' deal with the Broncos. The timing? It's like a challenge. Ramsey isn't just about being good. He's about being the best. And now, with this contract, he's back on top. It's always important to feel valued, he says, but it's more than that. There's a sense of pride, a sense that he's earned this. The hard work, the sacrifices, the moments where he pushed through injuries, through doubt. The Dolphins are rewarding him for all of it. But even with that deal in place, Ramsey waited to let the news out. The extension was done a few days ago, but he didn't want to focus on the money. Not yet. He wanted to be back out there, practicing, before anyone heard about it. I just felt like it wasn't right to have it out there and not be happy on the field with the guys, he explained. It's classic Ramsey, always aware of the optics, always playing the long game. 